morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, happy Monday. So the birthday has come and gone, you guys. Um, hopefully your weekend has gone great. It is going well. Um, that we are leading up and coming down to actual Christmas, which will happen finally this upcoming weekend. So hopefully your weekend has been what you um hoped and desired for it to be. And if it didn't, as we're getting um as we start on a brand new week, as I always, always say, keep your eyes open, keep your head up, look up, because there's a bigger, brighter, better day on the horizon just for you. And you have to know and please believe that you are deserving every good and great thing that's coming your way, alrighty? So, you guys, um, before I get into telling you about my weekend, I'm going to show you what my eldest niece brought to me on yesterday. So, she brought me some Skechers indoor shoes. Um, I actually just really, really love this. Look at the... Um, Tan and brown color. I still have the tag on it. <laughs> the bobs. Uh, she actually brought them yesterday. So yesterday, which is like a chill day, um, didn't really go anywhere. Just sat down and um, completely relaxed. I really wasn't feeling the best. Um, actually, Saturday wasn't a great day for me as well, um, physically speaking. But we really, really made a day of it, as you can see in the um previous video um you know we did go out and eat i hop early in that morning for breakfast what do you say and nausea and it wasn't because of the food um just wasn't feeling the best so i just told him I said well let's just go home and relax so we ended up watching um soccer for a little bit and just um I was getting my rest, so my body was really tired. So sleep, it doesn't matter, and fatigue, it doesn't matter when it hits, when it strikes, even if it's on your birthday, it doesn't care. And dealing with chronic illness is not easy, but I am a um, firm believer of doing what you have to do. So if that's on my birthday, I needed to rest and get my body in line and in order, guess what? That's what I did. So I don't feel like I'm missing a thing. I don't feel like my birthday was ruined because of that. I think I made the right decision. I know that I made the right decision because if I would have continued, um, you know, with our plans and even with the change plans that we had discussed, um, you know, going across the river um, to a um, to a mall, um, yeah, to go across the river to a mall, you know, I wouldn't be able to have my strength to just to really shop and enjoy. So it was better for me to come home and rest what we did. Um, I was so tired and exhausted. We didn't get the opportunity to make the gingerbread house, so that's actually still on the table. I honestly say Saturday turned out so well, despite not feeling well. And yesterday was just a rest and relaxed day. Uh, it is such beautiful weather outside. It's cold. It's a little bit colder than it was um, Saturday, but ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm always loving it. So it feels great. This is my favorite, favorite time of the year. I can never, never stop saying that enough. And our neighbor wrapped up um, their pole, I mean, where there are bricks on a household. And I think that is so neat and beautiful, simple but lovely. And when Hubby and I got home um, Saturday evening, I was surprised with a cake. So they got me a beautiful cake. Picture of how it looked full before it was cut. Um, <laughs> hubby, my mom and dad have been enjoying it, but that's not a problem for me. So I'm glad that they all participated in it because I really do love cake. But ever since with the stomach problems, I really don't eat a lot of cake unless it's like a really, really vegan. And this is not a vegan cake, which I'm not upset about. Um, I did manage to eat some pieces of it, like very small pieces. I just break it up. Uh, where I was able to just enjoy it as much as I possibly can. You know, I'm glad everyone else is enjoying it and eating it. Um, and I'm happy about it. Now, I probably, yes, I did show you guys this part already. So you see this. Thank you. 
it is a very cold rainy day on today so you can see how the weather is i am loving 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 the cold as usual as i always say but it's definitely a rainy day out here um today the weather says that it's going to drop down um i think into the 20s or the 30s um heading into the weekend now that kind of reminds me of last year because it's always really cold around new year time you know especially when we go outside and um pop fireworks where mainly i watch you know my eldest brother do it but i just love all the you know hoopla and excitement about it and just always memorable something that i've always we've always done as a family um and always look forward to it every year so I said, I'm looking forward to and just looking forward to Christmas finally being here and just awaiting that time. So, buenos dias. So, hopefully you guys are all doing well. You guys are all doing great, as I always say. Then I have a good morning, a good weekend, a great start to your week as we are on Tuesday. Keep your eyes open, keep your head up, look up. There's a bigger right there right on the horizon just for you. And you have to know and believe that you well deserve to have a good and great day that's coming your way. Alrighty. So as we are in this cold weather, you guys, so how's the weather out there where you live? Country, state, city, uh, wherever you are. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Are you guys having blizzards? Um, are you guys inside or you're the type to go out there and, you know, enjoy the snow? Um, just be careful and safe, you know, because on my phone I get a lot of the, um, you know, forecasts you know, locally and also around the world. I know that there's a lot of blizzards happening and you guys like you know just be safe you know have all your you know weather protection for your home and for your family um you know things to keep yourself safe you know as the temperature drops so the people are depressed for whatever reason you know sometimes it may just be the weather you know seasonal depression or they're just absolute hardcore fighting things in life that are just wearing them out and wearing them down that are difficult to just try to keep the head above water and it's not always easy to deal with those type of frustrations that you just gotta keep your head up and keep the faith and know that things will get better for you and don't give up don't give in but press up and keep moving on and keep moving forward because um there will be bigger and brighter days more than you have the dark days and sometimes it's hard to see the light in the darkness but i promise you when a rainbow comes through you know it's going to shine bigger and brighter because you survived the trial you survived the test and you survived what could have killed somebody else it didn't kill you because you were made to survive so just keep that reminder that's a reminder to myself you know even with daily chronic illness and just everyday struggles of life we got to push past because there's times you know where suicide seems like the only answer and i'm not judging anyone you know we talked about with twitch and you know everyone suffers some type of mental you know disparity no matter what it is small big large outrageous some people hide it where other people is clearly out there to see but everyone struggles some way somehow and we all need each other we really do so we have a ride now we are looking for a parking spot we're definitely um always looking for the handicap spot because it's always closer for me when you try to get what you can get um, the handicaps like that are already taken up. So, you're trying to just make it work and find something. I'm going to go right here. Parking is full. Okay, parking right here. Mm -hmm. All parking is a little bit full. Got it? Yeah. quickly what my next door neighbor brought me for um my birthday in this cute little bag that i'm definitely going to reuse um so it's a baseball cap that says woman of faith and it's a nice beautiful tan color with a little pink heart at the top i love that this uh i think is like a tissue holder it is so neat and cute with the little glitter um light blue um outline at the top so i will definitely be using this Okay, and this is a cute, lovely picture frame. And guess what it says? Joy is green and white. And so you can hang it anywhere. So um, I will hang it on the tree. But I'm going to reopen these things, act like a surprise. You know, put it by the tree for Christmas. 
I have this um, prayer book. It's prayers and promises for healing, um, dealing with sicknesses. So that's just nice and beautiful. This is a cute little jewelry box case. Um, let me open it for you guys. Jewelry in there. That would be so neat and great. Okay. So definitely for the toes. We're going to do a little at-home pedicure. Great. Um, a lovely card. Um, personally written and just beautiful and encouraging. And lastly, um, like you could put your own picture in. Like it already came with this inside. So this is cute and lovely as well.